Wilkinson. He's been in charge of Villa's finest moments this season at Liverpool and Manchester United. And it will be Blackburn Rovers, an ageing squad, you know, 10 of the 27 who are over 30. We get us off and underway, kicking from right to left. And the first header away was by Cuellar. Chive on the left-hand side, backing up young Martin Olsen. May well test the pace of the Spanish centre-back playing his football at right-back tonight. He's had such a good season. And has caught the eye of the Spanish national management too. Olsen and towards Dunn, such a creative player. He missed a penalty here, though, in the FA Cup defeat at the start of the month. And Guzan had to nip in. He's done so well in cup ties for them this season. He was the hero of their penalty shootout victory at Sunderland. Absolutely was. <coughs> it's nice that Martinelli gives him the chance and opportunity. And and I think he'll stay in yes, in the final should yes. they get that. Big American goalkeeper. Of Samba. Aston Villa failed to put away the game against West Ham here at the weekend and that's something that Martin O'Neill says his team have to work on. It's all very well being known as a fine footballing team, he says, but they also have to have the killer edge. And that is a rangy effort from James Collins. He scored the opening goal against Villa in the league at Ewood Park this season. Blackburn won it 2-1. This is done. Deflection. It's a corner. Yeah. I think that took a deflection off Dunn, captain. Good link up play, expecting David Dunn just to make the runs off the front man. Just link up around the edge of the 18 yard box there. Just taking a little deflection. And this is where they will be dangerous at set pieces. Samba and Nelson are ambling forward. Both of them scored at the weekend in the victory against Fulham. Nelson is having his best scoring season from the back. Guzan had to pull at it, and he was under real pressure. Down to take on Chimbonda. An early test for Paul Robinson. I think you can just hear the microphones pick up the shouts there. I think from the bench, take him on, take him on. That's exactly what Downing did. Faced with a one-on-one, -on -one, Chimbonda. Do you want to do? This is what I want my winger to do. Go past him and deliver. I think he's just floated up too easily. Comfortable for the keeper. Amber, on top of your picture there, is uh, just shaking his head. He took a knock. And it's aimed forward towards Olsen. His pace is creating one or two problems. He may have handballed that. Yes. It's a corner kick to Blackburn, though. Appeals from all around him from the Villa defenders there. A few arms went in the air. This is Samba just having a swing at that. His toe. Poked off his toe. Just see that asking the referee just to have a look. The surrounding Kuzan making him feel uncomfortable. Dunn will take the corner for Blackburn. Nelson's in at the near post again. Goes on, was surrounded, and Blackburn Rovers are level in the tie. And Kadanic does get the goal that Sam and I said he would score. He scored here in the FA Cup at the start of the month, and he has leveled the tie for Blackburn Rovers. One nil to Rovers on the night. Great delivery, under lots of pressure, Kuzan comes, doesn't get anywhere near it, as you see, Kalinic heads it, I think it is, if Warnock it just goes in off, off the back of his head, into the net, but you have to say that Kuzan comes, nowhere near it, the goal's empty, players on each post, it's in the back of the net, exactly what Blackburn wanted, first ten minutes. Deflected in off the head of a former Blackburn Rovers player, but Kalinic will claim the goal. Forward from the uh, New Zealand captain. And by Olsen, it'll drop here to Dunn. It's all Blackburn mm. in the early moments. Back it comes Emerton. Richard Dunn, fantastically brave as ever. And now down it. Terrific excitement in the opening exchanges. Here's Downing looking for Ashley Young, pulling away from Jive. Nelson may well have been impeded by Von Lahore. The referee saw nothing. 
Young trying to get the cross in. But with Olsen, of course, that been a, a double banked really on their left hand side to cope with the threat of Ashley Young because Olsen has the speed to get back and cover with Schubert. But this will be a long throw in by Carlos Cuellar. In towards Emi Heskey. On crack on the hall. Robinson came. A big punch was needed and provided. It's at Highbury. Once more replay was needed before the days when two-legged semi-finals were decided over the two legs. And Blackburn with a diagonal look for Olsen. Cuellar was there with him, it's not get away, here's Cannon, it's to take on Collins. And Blackburn are causing real problems and it's another corner kick. Here we go, doesn't get off the ground, he virtually ducks, turns his back on the ball. I know the goalkeeper, you can see the goalkeeper coming, but you know, keep your eye on the ball, you never know. Should the goalkeeper have got there? The well, goalkeeper's definitely got to get there. You know, if he calls and he comes, usually the defenders usually just sort of protect him by blocking off the strikers and allowing him to punch. Well, Villa haven't got hold of the ball. For me, that you know, the midfield players, uh, Milner and um, Petrov, have, have got to come and receive the ball off the back four to get the whole thing started. They're getting dominated. Again, it's Pedersen running into space. Kalinic, Olsen's got into the more central position. Villa are in trouble here. In comes across, Olsen, brilliant save, Parry, Kalinic, 2-0 to Blackburn Rovers. They went into the tie behind. They turned it on its head. He's not Villa out at this stage before. Is he going to do it again, Sam Allardyce? Aston Villa nil, Blackburn Rovers two, and Martin O'Neill's game plan is shredded by Kalinic. Drama, great counter-attacking football. Kalinic just starts the move there. Good little ball in here, good header from Olsen. That's all that the goalkeeper can do. And what you're expecting then is, can your defenders get there first and help you out? Great delivery in. Point blank save, now you need someone to clear it. No, Kalinic gets the tap in. I mean, I thought last week when he hit the post, a couple of times you're thinking, well, if they go in, he's a different player. You know, he's proved what he can do with a couple of chances tonight. And really, you have to say, it's no more than Blackburn deserve. They've been very positive, they've moved the ball around really well. And, and you know, Aston Villa, the home team, haven't created a chance. Some call Kalinic the new Davor Shuka. Well, those are big boots to fill, but he has two goals. And as I said earlier, he also scored here in the FA Cup. And the yellow card for Milner shows Aston Villa's frustrations are growing. Well, you know, my, my, my biggest when I looked at the teams, I was thinking, well, can, can Milner and Petrov dominate, you know, Pedersen and Nzonzi? You know, because they're Pedersen and Nzonzi, younger players, a little bit more inexperienced. But, you know, it's, it's, the Blackburn midfield have run the game for me. They've moved the ball, as I said, from side to side into the striker and back. And Villa have just never just even started well, not positively for me. Here now he's got a chance. Ashley Young. In comes Gosling, right bottom the hall, it's loose! And it's one up! Aston Villa one, Blackburn two, he scores against his former side, it's all level on aggregate. I think they're appealing for a foul. The Blackburn defenders are looking to the assistant. Across this near side. I think it might have been Agbon Lahore. Well, this is what I said. This is the first time they've gotten the ball in a little bit of space. Go and close him down to Vigive. Don't, don't let him put that ball in the danger area. Does Agbon Lahore foul Nelson? Although well, nobody sees if he does, but Warnock's at the far post to pick up the pieces. On the right side, left footed player. Back of the net. Well, they're still arguing with the referee now. I think the Blackburn players are incensed in the centre circle. Martin Atkinson unmoved by the Villa protest, by the Blackburn protest, but mm -hmm. there certainly seemed to be contact from well, Agbon Lahore. It just looked like two players going for the ball to me. Now, whether Agbon Lahore catches the back of Nelson's legs or not, I don't know. Mr. Young has changed flanks. Agbon Lahore's in the middle. Too high for him. Downing was coming in behind. I don't think Givay spotted him as well. Started off the move. Nearly finished it. Well, this is the ball, you can see it gives, gives Ashley Young too much space. Now, you've got to watch the challenge there. Oh, Agbon the Hall looks like he pushes, doesn't he? Pushes Nelson. And you've got to say, Chimbonda doesn't react well. He's, he's, he's on his heels a little bit. The ball's in the back of the net. 
Christopher Samba, that's all he can do, just trying to deflect it away from the danger area. But the man who's, well, I could say, partially to blame for the first goal makes amends. And Warnock's first goal for Villa comes against his old club. And Agbon Lahore now chases through the middle. Oh, is that a penalty? It has to be. And Samba was the last man back. But Blackburn said he played the ball. He's red carded. And a cup tie that was going so well for Blackburn Rovers has gone horribly wrong for them now. Did he play the ball? Or did he catch Agbon Lahore? I would say it's virtually impossible to make a challenge from behind and win the ball. I think on occasions you can do it. And the man's down the middle of the down the pitch and the inside the 18 yard box is looking for the lineup. I think he has hold of him and drags him. By virtue of the ball ends up at his feet at the end. Doesn't mean he got the ball at the start. It's a definite foul and the referee's got it right. What a dramatic night this is turning out to be. That's a stonewall penalty. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. Well, the ties swung one way and now back the other. Good opportunity now. James Milner. A little bit of composure needed just before half time. He scored two in his last three games against Blackburn. Milner to level the tie on the night and put Aston Villa back in front on aggregate with just over five minutes to go in the first half. Arguably Aston Villa's player of the season so far. Brilliantly taken. Brilliantly done. A relieved man looks on from the touchlines. Advantage Villa once again. We did ever so well there, James Milner. Amongst all the time it took to get that penalty taken. He never took his eyes off the ball. He stayed focused, composed, knew what he wanted to do. Hit with a little bit of purpose. Robinson guesses the right way. The pace of it, the precision of it, kept it away from him. He scored a brilliant goal against Portsmouth earlier on in the competition. And he has Martin O'Neill jumping for joy again. A man who hops and bops on the touchline and prowls and scowls and loves every minute and hates the very next second. Every emotion that can be experienced on a touchline is experienced by the Aston Villa manager. And this is some cup time. Ashley Young looking for Cuellar. Blackburn need to hold firm now and Villa have another cor uh, corner kick. Well, Guive has gone into the left-back position. And also Martin Olsen's just dropped back into the left back position. What's going to do? Just hold out until half time because they're still in this cup tie. I think they'll know that from this first half. Coming to Aston Villa, scoring two goals. Collins is in there, marked by Pedersen. Movement from Dunn as well. Way out to the near post. It's at the far where Agbon Lahore lurked. It's another corner kick for Aston Villa. Focus and concentration now. This famous old ground is rocking. Ashley Young's touch. This is Milner with the lash. Slightly off balance. Two on one situation on the corner, but slow to get out to him. This is Petrov, we'll have a go from there, and it's pushed away by the splendid Robinson. Lovely strike, but slow to react, Blackburn, and that ball came out here. Plenty of time, get out to the ball quickly, close it down. You've got a good look at it though, Paul Robinson. And here comes another corner, and it's met by Downing, but that time high. Something they tried in the first leg as well, that. We're into two minutes of stoppage time, by the way. A well, lovely strike, Petrov can see. Paul Robinson gets a good look at it, pushes away from the danger area. Doesn't want to take a chance of patting it down and trying to collect it. Lots of power. It's a good height. There was a little, a little line has come out of the, uh, the uh, dressing room area. 
Apparently Ryan Nelson asked tongue in cheek, can we change the ref at half time? To be fair, the speed of uh, some of these moves these days, baffling for assistant referees and referees, but it was a big decision on a big night. And off we go again then. Villa kicking from right to left in this second half towards their famous halt end in the claret and blue. One time it was chocolate and blue, the original colours. Hideous. Done. In comes the Pedersen free kick. Dipping late, but Guzan was confident enough. Probably in trying to put the goalkeeper under a little bit of pressure. Made it very easy for them. It's a high on this. No chance of a challenge. Using the extra man. All very sensible. And this is Warner. Milner. Downing thought about a shot. And now let's one fly. Hits Chimbonda. Milner. Another block. Nelson was in there again behind Chimbonda. This is Cuellar. It's a corner off Olsen. Well, really started the second half a lot better. Aston Villa, both fullbacks pushed into the opposition half, keeping possession, lots of width, and working the ball through the midfield from Petrov and Milner, a lot better shape, keeping the ball a lot, lot, a lot better. And Downing will take the corner, and Dunn has moved forward. Oh. Collins is in there, still across the goal, Richard Dunn! Well, wouldn't it be a splendidly romantic story if Richard Dunn gets the goal that sends Aston Villa to Wembley and they now have a two-goal cushion on aggregate. Great delivery. Wasn't dealt with it in the near post, was it? When you allow someone to get in front of you, there's always a chance of a flick on. What Aston Villa play gets in front, doesn't touch it, and the ball just drops inside the six-yard box. Now nobody deals with it. Dunn's in there, it goes in, I think it's in Zonzi, isn't it? And he, he gets the final touch. That's one there, that ball has to be contested. You can't let that ball go inside the six-yard box. It's popping around, and I think it comes off in, in Zonzi. Off Shive's chest, on to Dunn, and eventually in, off, and Zonzi. And so harsh for a Blackburn Rover side that had started the night so splendidly. They can't get close enough now, Blackburn. Can't get close enough to close Villa down. The moving men the ball there. really well. The ten men now at a real disadvantage. In comes Ashley Young's cross. And Bon Lahore. Warnock. Wiseski with the touch. Ashley Young will get it. Milner's in lots of space on the edge of the box. It was aimed at Heskey. And taken away by the resilient Nelson once again. And here's Ashley Young. Towards Cuellar. Milner. Good movement by Heskey. Tracked by Nelson. Foul play on. Milner, that's it! He scored the goal in the first leg. And he's got the goal in the second that surely seals victory for Aston Villa and sends them to Wembley. Well, the they are booked to date on February the 28th. It's 4-2 on the night and 5-2 on aggregate. This is a great advantage here. Challenge from behind. Players just seem to hesitate a little bit. I think the ball takes a little deflection there. Milner picks it up, gets it onto the left foot. Is it Chimponda? Well, it's, the, it's both the players on Chimponda and Agbon Lahore on the hands. Just deflects in, so is it Agbon Lahore's goal? He might claim he's got the last touch. Milner. I'm sure will claim another goal in his best ever scoring season. He's so versatile, isn't he? And Downing roaming into space. Milner finding more. This is Emil Heskey onside! There's no doubt now he is heading to another final. Emil Heskey wraps it up. And if he plays, 
He will join the likes of Ian Rush and Kenny Dalglish, who have made five final appearances in this competition. 6-2 on aggregate now. Oh, great play from James Milner. Look at this. Little diagonal ball. Is he offside? No, he's not. You can just see at the top of the screen. Defender with his arm in the air. Now it's a bit of a tight handle. He slips. Just still managed to get it in. Good composure going around the goalkeeper. Takes him out of the equation. Composed, as you say, he slips and just gets in. But a fantastic ball through from James Milner. It's Emil Heskey's first goal here since the 4th of May. A long, long wait. It's his first goal anywhere since mid-December. And Blackburn still try and play football. And it comes. Oh, so now that's brilliant! Oh. Magnificent! An immediate response. And he's saying you're not out of it yet. Oh, what, a, what a ball in and what a reaction here. Olsen starts the move, gets it going. Ball into the box. It speaks for itself. Keeps on the ball, over a kick. It's a fantastic strike. Is it in vain? What a terrific goal. It's his first this season. It's his second for the club. It was the impetus he gave Blackburn in the opening exchanges that led to the two goals by Kalinic. I doubt they weren't finishing teams off well enough. Well, they certainly would do if they score here. Milner, lots of space for Downing. And Dunn has gone into the wide position. And was it back in? Heskey with a tap! Lovely save that by Robinson. And Milner's offside mm. as he went for the rebound. Brilliant save. Excellent save. Robinson full stretch. Good ball in from Downing. The defence should really be pushing up at this stage here. Good Eddie, you can just see Milner. He's reacted well, but he's, he's offside. Free header. Samba missing in the middle of defence, and I think it's showing. He's standing there in an offside position, not necessarily interfering. Off this one, he is. Now, as he yes. goes for the rebound, he becomes active. Went dropped into left back, and now pushed forward again. Robinson forward. Oh, who's on? There was a foul in there anyway. It was Nelson, wasn't it? With his arm. And the referee's there, right on the spot. Long free kick, just too long, isn't it? Not that landing up just on the penalty spot, ideally. I've scored from that sort of range before, Robinson. Yeah. I think. You just see, look at Nelson number six. Doesn't look at the ball one bit. Well held there from Kuzan. Played in brilliantly to the fullback. Now, as you bet it was, you've got a cross. Read it at the last moment. Yeah. Ashley Young sort of dummy to cross in the middle and then played the ball around the corner. But once again, that wouldn't happen. The overlapping run down the outside, the, the left side here. Warnock get himself forward. Creates the extra man. And that's been the best feature for me for Aston Villa the second half, the fullbacks. Here's Ashley Young. Was that a shot on goal or was he looking for Cuellar? I think it was one of he was trying to hit the far post. Oh, look at this quick release. It's Benny McCarthy. Took it as the ball rose. But why? Good opportunity though. Delivered from Paul Robinson here. Spots him. I mean, just takes it, lets this ball bounce. It's perfect for him, really. And that's quite poor for him. In the first leg, Villa scored from a break mm. after Blackburn were attacking, and they only got their own back there. That's like the concentration from the defenders. Nelson. And this is taken in a deep position by De Santo. It took a deflection, but Guzzo makes sure anyway. I think it was James Collins who threw himself at it. It's been a feature, hasn't it? Esky, lovely cushioned chest trap. Biggest roar of the night. Petrov, Milner, definitely done. At bottom of the hole. Still in there. Good block by Robinson, who spread himself well. Corner. It is a corner. 
Well, without him, Aston Villa could have had seven. Once again, good play from Milne out of the box. Once this breaks here for Agbon Hall, you're thinking if he can just dink it over the goalkeeper because he's, he's on the way down. It's a wasted opportunity. Fine save, though. Madison will take the corner for Blackburn. Can we give this tie its tenth goal? Little chip in. Good strong run by Nelson. Dunn was underneath the hook. Back in again. It's deflected home. Blackburn have another. Is it Heskey? Emerton was involved for Blackburn Rovers. Barely a celebration. 5-4 on the night. 6-4 on aggregate. Incredible. Corner just half cleared. This is just hooked in. I think uh, bang into, uh, over his shoulder. Because I'm not sure if he touches it. Heskey. I'm not sure. Downing is running out. Is it Downing who gets the touch? Yeah, it goes straight in off the goalkeeper. I think it meets, beats them all, Mark. He misses it, doesn't he? They clear the lines, they're coming out. It's just at the, the height, awkward. His view was impaired by the two yeah. Villa players who were in front of him, but I think he goes been. clean through off Emerton. Yeah. Just appeared. I, I just thought Heskey took a little touch. No free kick given. Despite the protests of the Villa fans who thought that Ashley Young was fat. Hurry. Ashley Young has Heskey standing on the goalkeeper. That's a lovely storming run in by Dunn. Couldn't get over it. Comes in at the far top of the screen. Really Comes attacks it, doesn't he? Yeah, attacks the ball. Sits Nelson just in front, just stops him. There you go, just uses his body a little bit, stops him guiding that ball downwards. The roar goes up as the Villa fans hear that Milner's the man of the match, and here's Ashley Young, Heskey through the middle. And Ashley Young carries and carries, and ends it all! Ashley Young sends Martin O'Neill into yet another League Cup final. And Blackburn Rovers are left on the seat of their pants and crestfallen. Aston Villa 6, Blackburn Rovers 4, 7 4 on aggregate. He ran from the halfway line. He had support. He didn't need it. He's booked his place in the Wembley dressing room. Absolutely. They've thrown everything forward. Blackburn just got caught on the counter. But this will do him a world of, a world of good. Just attacking the fullback, just come inside, slide inside the far corner. No one could have expected this scoreline turning up here tonight. He set up two against Blackburn in the FA Cup this season. He scored home and away against him in 2007 2008. And he cements Aston Villa's place at Wembley. Ashley Young. Emerton. Olsen. Listen to the Villa fans sing. It's a free kick for the foul on Collins. They're all planning their trip to Wembley. It's going to be a good final, i say. Whoever gets, whoever gets through from the other set, semi-final. Well, Manchester City hold the advantage, and Aston Villa against Manchester City would be between two teams who would really love to win it. And it's Aston Villa.